Do you like apples? What? Do you like apples? Uh, yeah. Well, I got a number. How do you like them apples? Okay, I don't know what that I got a number part means in the apocalypse, but, you know, I think you get the idea. Go Well Hunting's a great, mo great movie. What's up, my immune friends? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Mist Survival. And I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Cage, when are you going to clean up the base, man? Like, it, this looks like a freaking bomb went off. Um, <laughs> guys, inventory management is takes a long time in this game. And I've actually spent about a half hour to an hour in between this and last video organizing as much as I could. But I, I can't do it all in one all in one video because, man, it just takes way too long. But let me show you what I got. This is going to be my armory, okay? This is what I got in my armory. So this is looking pretty cool, right? I got all my ammo and uh, grenades up here. Down here, I've got things you, ne you need to craft ammo and grenades. Right here, I've got my high-powered weapons. Down here, I've got my lower-powered weapons, although I guess a shotgun's pretty high-powered, but you know what I'm saying. Um, right here, I have all my armor. Right here, I have my arrows and stuff to make arrows. And right here, I just have clothes and a couple shields. So I have been doing some organizing, but it's, it's going to take a while. It really is. Um, but let's get to it, guys. What are we doing today? We are going to make a chicken coop, and I'm probably going to try and um, wall in this... Um, uh, this area right here because these the, they keep walking by it and they keep getting stuck on the farm So I think I'm gonna probably make some make some fencing around this area and I You know what? Maybe I'll make small fencing for now because you can always break up the fencing uh, I showed you last video or the video before last. I don't know some video I showed you that when you break up this fencing you get 100% of the materials back, which is just grand Okay First things first, let's go ahead and make a... We, we got a bunch of uh, components and scrap last video, and now we're going to spend almost all of it. Um, man, this stuff goes too quick. It really does. All right, so what I'm going to do is we're going to put down a chicken coop. And I'm going to put it right here. I'm thinking right there is a good spot for it. All right, you don't want, really want it in the wall, but you don't want it away from the wall too much. I think right about there looks pretty good. There's going to be some grass in there, which is kind of annoying, but, eh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Sometimes you just have to have grass in your chicken coop. Maybe I'll turn off the grass. I can always turn off the grass in the game if it bothers me too much. So, we'll see. But, I think we're just going to put it there. Alright, so we didn't get the leaves. Man, I knew I was missing something. I was like, what am I missing for the chicken coop? I can't quite remember. It is the leaves. You need a bunch of leaves. I got leaves. I had Scott picking up leaves like a boss. No problem. I got some leaves up here somewhere. There we go. Let's grab those. And let's go ahead and finish up this chicken. We got a place for Bobby. And we also got to set up the food and water container. Although we don't have any food for him. But the thing is... Ugh. But the thing is, I don't think Bobby can die. Uh, maybe I shouldn't say that. I don't know. But his food and water has been pretty low for a while. And, um, you know, I think until the developer gets to the point where he can get seeds more reasonably, then, yeah, he probably shouldn't make the chickens die. Um... Because, you know, it's just, it's too hard to get the seeds. And now that I planted the seeds, it's cool, but now they're not growing. And um, I haven't given them a lot of time to grow. And I don't, I haven't seen the comments from last video yet. So I can't comment on that. Because um, I asked you guys about your, you know, I asked about your farms. So, all right. You know what? Let's put Bobby in here. And then we're going to, we're going to kind of wall off that farm there. So for Bobby, I think for the time being, can we put his, um, can we put his little food thing inside here? No. Oh, you can. Okay. So that's cool. So let's just put this in here for now. Although I really don't like it in here, to be honest. Which way is the front? I can't tell. I can't tell which way is the front here. Actually, I really don't like that in there. Let's put it out here. I want Bobby to. Have, I want Bobby to be able to come out here and get you know get a little bit of exercise. And I think we'll just put that right there. And then let's go ahead and build this bad boy. We could at least put water in it, right? I guess. All right, so now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and we are going to build a livestock fence. And I'm going to make this very small for the time being. Uh, we'll expand it later. But for the time being, I'm just going to make this very, very small because we do not have a lot of components. So we'll go ahead and put that right there. Looks good. And then we will put another one right here. I like that they connect. It's cool. Yep, looks good to me. Yeah, it's weird. Sometimes they connect and sometimes they don't. Like, they weren't always connecting for me, but now they are. So, and we want this to be equal to this. Or even. That's what I'm trying to do here. Yeah, that looks pretty even. 
Come on. Tap it in. Just tap, tap, tap a -roo. All right, good enough. Let's let it go. Oh, God, it still went. Did its own thing. All right, that should be good. And then we'll put another one like that. And uh, you know what? Actually, take that out. That's going to be the gate. I think that would be a splendid spot for the gate. Now, the gate doesn't snap in, which is kind of annoying. Um, let's just go ahead and save, and let's go ahead and build these up. Oh, freaking mist. We're going to farm the mist, man. I've been farming the mist now, so you know what? I got my bow, and I'm just going to farm the mist, and that's that's all I got to say about that. Can we close the gate from here? Yeah, we can. Now, can we run across here and close it on the other side? Yes, we can. That is really nice. Now what we do is we just sleep, and whenever you sleep, the infected know where you are and come at you. So you can't sleep through the mist. But the problem is they can't get to me. Or are they here? Maybe they might not be here. Yeah, sometimes they come to you. Sometimes they don't. You should wake up. There we go. There we go. And I'm not seeing them. Hmm. Are they on the inside? Could be on the inside. Let's come on up here. Huh. Not seeing any... any uh... Oh, there he is. Okay. Dude, that was a headshot. It didn't kill him. Headshots used to always kill these guys in one shot. Not so much anymore. Come on, bro. See, what they'll do is they'll, like, lose track of you, and they'll just wander out, and then soon you can hit them. Uh, if you want to, like, you can see right there, basic wooden arrow, bottom right, it's a zero. But check this out. I actually have my quiver. It's a tactical quiver. And it holds more arrows. So, um, what you could do is, if you want to, like, reload arrows, you just press R. Where's the guy out there? I know I saw him. Where'd he go? Alright, whatever. I could just sleep to get him over here. And that's all you gotta do, guys. Sleep, wait until they walk away, hit him with the bow. Sleep, walk away, hit him with the bow. You know, and that's the way you do things. Okay, so that was a headshot. So I guess the other one wasn't a headshot. Alright, fair enough. My goodness, I need more sticks. By the way, I had to tear... I went through the mist, looted a bunch of stuff. Um, got a bunch of food, some salt couple of rags, a couple of those things. I actually got two cans of uh, fruit. I already ate one. The fruit is just fantastic. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, you guys think I'm kidding with the components, dude. Like, this is all the components I have. That's it. <laughs> it's crazy, man, how fast you go through components. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and take these, and I'm going to turn these into sticks because I can. Why the heck not? And then we're going to go ahead and finish that up. Then we're going to put a very, very small, very, very small, like, area around the farm like so i might actually try and build an area around the farm with just like suitcases or something because you know it's kind of crazy um you know like i mean i have to go farm some more of these uh some more of these components there's just no two ways about it just thank god we get full components back when we take apart these fence so i didn't actually lose any all right there we go and that's a nice little uh nice little home for bobby for the time being you know i mean we'll get we'll get something better for him but for now this will do we gotta get some more nails. N -n 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 nails. That's gonna take some more components. So let's just go ahead and we'll do them ourselves because it'll be quicker. There we go. And let's go ahead and finish this bad boy up. I don't know how we're gonna get water in there. I guess I'm gonna have to go get some water from the freaking lake over there, man. All right, interact. There you go. Uh, water status safe. Okay, so can I put any kind of water in there? Does it matter? That's what I'm wondering. I don't know. And I don't see anything about food. So that's the water container, but how do you put food in there? I mean, I don't have any food anyway, but if I did, I'd like to know how to put it in there. All right, let's put Bobby in the pen. Come on, Bobby. Let's do it, bro. What time is it? Oh, God. I'm going to have to sleep through the night soon. I think we're going to have to go out and kill a, uh, a bear pretty soon, too. What's up, buddy? Change name. Can I... No, you need the, um, you need the item to change the name. Fair enough. Come on, buddy. I know you're starving. I know you're di dying of dehydration, but, you know, I'm doing what I can. I'm doing what I can. There we go. Now, I think in order to have him lay eggs, you need to feed him. I don't think he's going to die uh, by not having food and water. I think you just need that for him to lay eggs. So, or her, whatever. Whatever it is. All right. So, let's move all this stuff out of the way. I'm going to go get some water for old Bobby. 
Let me get some water for old baby. Fine, zombies. You don't want to let me sleep through the night. I'll just make arrows through the night. The hell with it. I could always use more arrows. Jeez, what a pain in the butt. Oh, I'm still going to need more sticks as well. Oh, man. All right. So let me bring you up the speed. Uh, first of all, uh, Kate and... Sorry, not Kate. Um, Rachel and Scott were totally 100% annoyingly stuck. Okay? Now, if they get stuck in your game, I'm going to tell you how to get it get it to work out so you don't have to, you know, bang your head against the wall in frustration. Basically, you just go to another base and you set that as your active base. It'll teleport anyone you have in your crew over to that base. And then you just come back and you bring them back over here. So that's what I did and I got them unstuck. And what I did was I, um, I just put a couple crates on both sides and that should be good enough so they don't walk over these until I can make the fencing. I was going to make the fencing... I don't have enough materials. Not even close, man. Not even close. We're going to have to go out. We're going to kill a bear today. We're going to go out, kill a bear. We're going to break open some cars. We're going to do our thing. Um, this guy's got no water. I He had water. I watched it. Oh, he drank it all? Dude, there's no way he drank all that water. There was like 10 liters of water in there. How the hell do you drink so much water? I think he's bugged. I think he's bugged as F because there's no way he should have drank that much water. Well, you know what we'll do? We'll take it. And we'll put another 10 liters in there. Um, I don't even... It takes me like a, like three days to drink 10 liters of water. So, yeah. And I don't really know if it matters if it's unsafe or not. He was drinking it and he was fine with it. Um, so, we'll see. Let's, let's see if we can make him drink it. Get over there and drink. You drink, boy. All right, you're in my way. All right, go ahead and drink. Go ahead, buddy. Now his little drink meter should fill up. Right? Right? There he goes. That's going to fill up now. Little blue bar should be filling up any second now. Um, okay. Yep, there he goes. There he goes. All right. So that's only taking like half a liter to fill up his blue bar. So I don't think he drank all that water. I think it just bugged out. So, But there you go. He's drinking. There he goes. He's happy. All right. Cool. So we got that taken care of. Ah, uh, there we go. Let's get the hell out of there. And now we're gonna go out. We're gonna, you know, kill ourselves a bear, and we're gonna break open some, break up some more cars, man, because we need, we need those uh, parts like so badly. Um, they just go so quick. I mean, it takes two, it takes two of those parts. Like if if we break open a car, we when we break up a car, we get enough components for two of these fences. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's <laughs> that's not a lot, guys. It really, really isn't. All right, so we're hungry. Might as well go and eat now. If we get back in time, uh, we might be able to uh, actually make some stew. I do have some carrots and potatoes. I don't know if they're going to go bad or not, but we might we might be able to get back in time. All right, so why don't I go ahead and go to my equipment and go to the quiver. And Oh, another thing. Don't add arrows in here on top of other arrows. Like don't See how there's two arrows here? Don't drag six arrows into there. Your arrows will disappear and you will lose them. Just, you know, combine them out outside of the um, quiver. Okay. All right. Let's do it, folks. Oh, look at this guy. You see me? Hey, go to hell. I don't have to deal with you. I'm, I don't have to deal with you. Scott, take him out. Better keep him separated. That's not how the song goes. No, that's kind of how it goes. Hey, it's how I remember it. It was the 90s. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? All right, so I'm going to go exactly to where I know there will be... Well, where there's always been a bear. We're just going to go to that uh, garage or the gas station area. And we're going to try and get that bear to follow us. Climb up on top of the lockers. Bada bing, bada boom. Bob's your uncle. And I'm going to be eating like a king. Uh, the cool thing about bears is you don't... <laughs> The cool thing about bears is you don't have to hunt them, like, that often. So, the meat, you know, it doesn't last that off. It doesn't last that long, but it lasts long enough. And some people were asking about, um... Oh, hold on, I want to check this out really quick. Some people were asking about, uh, refrigerators. Um, I, I made the refrigerator once. I didn't think it was worth it. So, I'll probably make it again at this point, but I'm hearing stories that the refrigerator is not working. So, you know. I don't remember it really being worth it, though. I remember making it once and being like, I don't really want to do this again. Because you, you have to keep your electricity running the whole time. And, like, the generator's good. But if you keep it running the whole time, you're, you're going to run out of power. Like, you're just going to run out of uh, biofuel, you know? Speaking of biofuel, we got to make sure to get some fat from this bear. So, let's see what we got. Nope. Careful. Careful. Okay. There he is. 
There's my buddy. Old Yogi. Come on, Yogi. Come on, bro. Oh, he sees me. He is not a happy bear. He is an angry bear. Do we have a spear? We need to bring a spear. What the hell? He's trying to trick me. He's trying to trick me. Look at this. There he is. Come on, bro. Come on. Look at this guy. I don't think so. Not on my watch, pal. Oh, that was a headshot. Hell yeah, it was. Oh, he is not happy now. Come on. There you go. You're done. You're done, my friend. Now, now comes the butchering part. Okay, so why don't we go ahead? You can do the head, too. I don't do the head. It's just gross. Um, so we definitely want all the meat, like all of the meat. That's the main reason we're here. So we just got to gut this guy. Then we're going to get the animal fat. I don't think we need the other two items right now, so I won't get them. Because they just take time and, you know, I really don't need them right now. Do we have the mist? Hold on. No. All right, cool. Q, Q, Q. There we go. See, if I get back in time, if I have the potatoes and the carrots haven't gone bad, I can make stew, which would be awesome. All right, there we go. And I'm going to take the head, too. Now, the head, you use different, different tools for different areas. You want to use the, um, the axe on the head. I guess it just takes less time. I, I didn't really look, but there we go. I'm going to assume the, those are the brains. Brains. All right, beautiful day. It's a beautiful day to go eat a bear. So one irritating part about the chicken is he will keep going. Really, really irritating. Damn it, the carrot went bad. Son of a bee. I knew it. I knew it. Eh, whatever. See, that's that's what I'm saying. Like You got to have like all three of these. I guess that's where a refrigerator would have helped, but it's all right. No big deal. We don't. We, honestly, we don't need this stew. You know, it'd be nice, but whatevs. What else? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to render fat. We're going to dump all of these in there. Okay. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to put, we're going to turn some of this into um, dried meat. Now, we're probably going to cook like at least four of these, probably six. So we only need five worth of dried meat. But you got to be careful because every piece of meat you dry gives you, like, takes up four spots. And I think if you, like, don't have the room, you just lose the meat. I don't even think it falls on the ground. So. Yeah, all right, so we could do one more. That, yeah, that chicken's going to be a problem. He's going to really get on my nerves. Problem is, I um, already spent the resources on his stupid, his stupid chicken house. So, <laughs> chicken coop. So, like, if I make another one, then it's going to be, like, wasting material, which really kind of blows. But I'll have to eventually make, a, make one farther away from this area. Although, I guess I'm not going to be up here much, much anymore, because, like, I could just leave this up here to sleep. And right here... You can't really hear him. I can always move the bed, too. I don't have to be up here. I can move everything downstairs. And if I could be downstairs, I could kind of stay on that side of the uh, barn, which you won't be able to hear him. You can't hear him for um, that far away. So, all right, let's go ahead and do this. And one more. Yeah, that'll work. And then we'll cook the rest. And we'll put all this on the drying rack, and then we'll cook the rest of the meat. Eh, you know what? Maybe we'll do one more. I've got the salt, so why not? That cooked meat does not last very long. Just remember, guys, you gotta watch your meat. You gotta watch your meat as it's cooking. The rendered stuff you don't really have to worry about. When they when the thing's full, it'll just come down here into storage. But the meat, it will burn and it will burn quickly. So it just went to medium. So I have a little bit of time here. I'm just gonna kind of put some stuff over here. All right, and um, I don't want to put out that over there. I just want to put food over here. There we go. Yep, because eventually uh, we'll have more of this meat than we can carry. Um, I, By the way, I had to reload the game. Oh, God. So I went out to the corn that was growing outside, right? And it grew. The corn grew. I, I, I had to reload, and I lost some time here. That's why um, I actually have um, more less stuff on the drying rack than when I left. At least, I'm not sure. I might have shown you that. Basically, what happened was I made too much for the drying rack. So... Yeah, you, you didn't. I don't know if you saw that or not, but whatever, it's irrelevant. Um, the fact of the matter is, um, I had to uh, reload because I went to I went to the corn and the corn was grown, but it wasn't all the way grown. 
and it let me harvest it and all I got was leaves. Now, the, you shouldn't be able to harvest the corn unless it's fully ready. Why would anyone want to harvest their corn early for leaves? I didn't get any seeds back. I didn't get any corn. I got nothing. I got nada. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think you, I think you should change it. I don't think you should be able to harvest the corn if it's not, you know, ready. So, because um, I, I don't see why you would. All it, all, it do, all it does is confuse people for the first time. Oh, it confused me. Um, I don't, like, I looked at it and it was like, okay, I can harvest it. If I can harvest it, then I should harvest it. Why would you give me the, oppor why would you give me the uh, opportunity to harvest it if it's not harvestable or if I'm not going to get anything back for it? So, no big deal. That's what I'm saying, guys. Save and save often. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Oh, so that's how you make... Oh, that's how you make chicken feed. I, I wonder when I get the corn if I can use the corn to get seeds. That's what I'm wondering. I don't know. Maybe you get seeds when you pick the corn. I don't know. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wait until this meat's done. So I'm thinking a lot of the water mechanics are pretty freaking borked, to be honest. Um... I'm, I'm trying to give uh, Bobby water, man. He keeps, like, it's all gone. Like, again, I don't know. Um, also, I, uh, I, this is what I was talking about with the corn, by the way. I don't know if you have to actually water the corn. See, harvest corn. Why would I want to harvest the corn? Of course I would want to harvest the corn. You shouldn't let me harvest the corn. You done confuse me, game. So let's go ahead and, uh, go ahead and water the corn. Again, I don't know if you need to water it, but the, the, corn, the corn actually takes a lot of water. Probably more water than I feel comfortable with giving it. Because it does take a while to get the water. Like, you have to bring your um, your big water container over there to, the, like, the lake. And then you have to kind of fill up buckets, put it in your thing. It, it, it actually takes a while, and it's, it's really kind of boring. Um, I think we need an easier way to get water. Um, I just don't know what that could possibly be. Uh, so this is pretty good right here. I, I can't make any fencing around it because I don't have what I need for the fencing. Also, I was trying to... Um, I was trying to saw some wood into planks to pass time and uh, it wasn't letting me so i'm not really sure what's up with that let me grab a saw and see if i could saw the wood not really sure what the deal is might have to log log out and log back in yeah see i can't I'm not sure if i'm missing something here or what but um yeah maybe logging in and logging out will take care of it i don't know i'm not gonna mess around with that right now i'll probably mess around with it later let me see if i can uh, do it in the saw bench oh my god look at this Damn it. See, I didn't kill them, so they don't give me the loot. Alright, fair enough. So they're... Wait. Where are the arrows? Hmm. I... I didn't set up to make one big... Oh, um, okay. Yeah, they gotta make more arrows. Come on, get in there and make some arrows, lady. We got over here anything? Oh, there we go. Uh, can we cancel that? Cancel task. Okay, cool. You didn't used to be able to. All right, so I can craft here myself, so that's cool. Why don't we just go ahead and have uh, have old Scotty boy do that? All right, there we go. She's doing a thing. Beautiful. Cool. All right, man, it's almost nighttime. Yeah, see the water. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think that's pretty, pretty broken. Pretty broken. On the road again, boom, do, 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 do. Just can't wait to get on the road again, boom, do, 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 do. I need metal, something, something, friends. I just can't wait to get on the road again. Man, do I need metal in the worst way. I swear to God, I'm streaming this mofo this Friday. I'm going to be in that mine like the whole freaking time, man. I got to mine like a mofo. I mean, honestly, it, I think it takes four iron ore to make one iron ingot, and, and that's only one scrap iron. So four iron ore is only one scrap iron. I mean, man, like, woo. I mean, I'm going to break some stuff up, too. I mean, I could always... The thing is, if I'm not recording, I'm going to be in the mine. If I'm going to be out breaking stuff up, I could get jumped by a bear. I could get jumped by a, you know, randis or something. Even if I'm not recording, I need to be ready to record. So, I'm not going to be doing that unless I'm ready to record. But for just streaming, yeah. Yeah. Because things like that I can do while streaming. Because it's, it's pretty interesting. Because I can, like, interact with the stream in real time. Um, I can't do that with you guys on a video. Of course, now the mist is coming. Ooh, a knife. I need more knives. Okay. Can I get on the roof for this mist? Let's see. Looks like I should be able to. Yep, there we go. Now, can I stay up here? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Beautiful. Let's sleep through the mist. Either I'm going to get some kills or they're going to leave me alone. Either way, KJ48 always wins. 
Come on. There you go, chump. How you like that? Do you like apples? What? Do you like apples? Uh, yeah. Well, I got a number. How do you like them apples? Okay, I don't know what that I got a number part means in the apocalypse, but, you know, I think you get the idea. Go well hunting's a great, mo great movie. Boom! Smoked! Loving it. I'm loving it. All right, guys, I'm gonna... You know what? You probably want to see the loot from this, right? Yeah, let's, let's loot it up. Let's loot it up, and then we'll end the video. Don't know if they see. They gotta make them so they stop making noise when they're dead. Because I keep like wondering, like I keep wondering, oh, there's another one out there, and there never is. Very annoying. By the way, um, you've recognized this house. It's the one with those um, with those lights. And I'm gonna bring those home. By the way, just so you know. Come on, bro. Where are you? Where is he? Is he on the side there? Yep, there he is. I gotta get the killer. I won't get the drops. There we go. Oh, a wheelbarrow. I'm gonna break that apart. Wheelbarrow doesn't give you that much, but eh. Some is better than none. All right, let's get that loot called a video. Okay, save in case, I don't know, something crazy happens. Nope, we good. I'll take that, thank you very much. How about these guys dropping metal pieces? That'd be cool. Uh, shot an arrow over here that missed. You can, like, find your arrows, but sometimes they break. Nope, just a feather. Alright, I'm not really concerned about it. Anyway, guys, if you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.